the safety of your love. I trust your heart and your intentions. I trust you completely, Lord. I'm listening intently. You guide me through these many shadows. Oh. find our rest in you Lord Jesus Spirit of the living God take us into the intimate presence of our King we have known you from generation to generation Lord Jesus that you are good that you are kind that you are faithful and we trust you completely and we're listening intently, Holy Spirit, when you speak to us as we worship, speak to our hearts, teach our hearts to cry out, Abba, teach our hearts who we are, we are your children, that you love us. As we worship this morning, teach our hearts, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Let now the weak say I have strength by the spirit of power that raised Christ from the dead. Let now the poor stand And my
now your church. Let now your church shine as so bright that you soar in your heart as you offer up your life. And now the lost be welcome home by the Savior redeemed the God's will as your And now our hearts burn Let now our hearts burn And you strengthen us by your great strength. And you remind us, Holy Spirit, of the goodness of our God, of his many kindnesses. And you remind us and you bring to our hearts 
and to our memories all the things that our God has done. What you have done for us. What you have done for our families. What you have done for our country. What you have done for this world. Our hearts are full of love for you. I felt your goodness on the mountain. I saw your love down in the valley. And your grace, it still surrounds me. Lord, you've been good to me. You've been good.
speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. For I know that there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. starts to break declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus
into the hearts and minds of every father who doesn't know how he's going to take care of his family, for every mother who does not know how she's going to care for her children. I speak Jesus into every business owner's mind who says, I don't know how we're going to carry on. I speak Jesus. And we cry out to you, Jesus. Be our rescue. For your name is power. And your name is healing. And your name is hope. And so we sing your name, Jesus, over all the noise of all the doubt and fear and anxiety and depression. We speak your name. And your name speak louder, Jesus, in our lives and in the church. Ooh, I speak Jesus. said to me, mortal man, can these bones come back to life? And I replied, Sovereign Lord, only you know. And he said, prophesy to the bones. Don't tell me only you know. Prophesy to the bones. Tell these dry bones to listen to the word of God. Tell them that I, the Sovereign Lord, am saying to them, I am going to put breath into you and I will bring you back to life. I will clothe you with sinews and muscle. I will cover you with skin. I will put my breath into you and I will bring you back to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And so I prophesied as I had been told. And while I was speaking, I heard a rattling noise and the bones began to join together. And while I watched, the bones were covered with sinews and muscles and with skin. But there was still no breath in their bodies. And God said to me, mortal man, prophesy to the wind. And tell the wind that the Sovereign Lord commands that it come from every direction to breathe life into these dead bodies, to bring them back to life. And so I prophesy as I had been told. And breath entered the bodies, and they came to life, and they stood up. And there were enough of them to form an army. And God said to me, mortal man, the people of Israel are like these dry bones. They say they are dried up and that they have no hope and that they have no future. So prophesy to my people and tell them that I, the sovereign Lord, I'm going to open up their graves and I'm going to take them out and I'm going to bring them back into the land that was promised to them. And when I open the graves where my people are buried and I, when I bring them out, they will know that I am the Lord. And I will put my breath into them and I will bring them back to life. And I will let them live in their own land. And they will know that I am the Lord. I have promised that I will do this. And I will. I am the Lord and I have spoken. You give life, you 
your spirit rests upon upon Annika that your spirit rests upon her that you have given her a spirit of prophecy a spirit of boldness Lord Jesus you would be bold in her this morning and that you would be sensitive in us this morning that we would hear the voice of our God speaking to us through her Jesus name that we would worship you with our ears and that we would worship you with our lives and we would worship you with the inclination of our hearts and our minds we give all of ourselves to you this morning we speak against the spirit of cynicism and the spirit of doubt and the spirit of fear we say we want nothing from you Holy Spirit, we want only your voice. Speak hope to us. Speak truth to us. Speak correction to us. Speak life to us. Open up our eyes in Jesus' name. All God's people said amen. We want to encourage you uh, to join us. Auntie Annika is going to share with us uh, now. So we're going to kill this feed and then Auntie Annika will open her feed. We're looking forward to hear the word. Love you guys.